morning students hope you are in good health and fine spirits welcome to our online class for class 10 in biology lesson number 5 students you are already aware of the fact that the human body is made up of 11 systems which work in coordination with each other digestive system breaks down complex food into simple soluble form and the circulatory system carries the soluble substance to every cell in the body There is one system in our body which removes the nitrogenous and harmful substances and protects the body and this is the excretory system. We discuss the excretory system in man. We need to know the meaning of certain important terms like excretion, excretory product and excretory organs. Excretion, it is the removal of unwanted nitrogenous waste and harmful substances from our body. Excretory products are the harmful substances that are eliminated from the body such as carbon dioxide urea bile pigments excess salts and vitamins water etc excretory organs these are the organs that remove harmful substances from the body example kidneys lungs and the sweat glands excretory system consists of organs concerned with formation storage and elimination of urine from the human body it consists of a pair of kidneys a pair of ureters a urinary bladder and urethra location they are bean shaped organs located on either sides of the vertebral column between the last thoracic vertebrae and the third lumbar vertebrae it is protected by the last two ribs right kidney is slightly lower than the left one because of the presence of the liver which pushes the right kidney a little lower than the left students let us discuss the most important part of the excretory system which is the kidneys the kidneys are bean shaped organs having an outer convex surface and an inner concave one they are covered by a fibrous covering called the renal capsule they are further divided into two parts outer cortex and inner medulla the cortex is the dotted dotted outer part and the inner medulla is made up of 12 to 15 conical shaped structures called the renal pyramids the fine lines of the renal pyramids are known as ducts of bellini apex of the pyramid are called the renal papillae the renal papillae opens into the minor calyx and this opens into the major calyx which in turn opens into the renal pelvis in between the pyramids are columns of cortex called the renal columns or columns of bertini is where the renal artery enters and the renal vein and the ureters leave the kidney is on the concave side and is called the hilum side each kidney there are a million small units known as nephrons or uniferous tubules they are the structure and functional unit of a kidney nephron is differentiated into two parts the malpighian capsule and the renal tubule malpighian capsule consists of the baumann's capsule and the glomerulus the baumann's capsule is the cup shaped structure that you see in the diagram tuft of blood vessels that you see inside the baumann's capsule is known as the glomerulus the renal tubule is further differentiated into proximal convoluted tubule because it lies close to the baumann's capsule it is called convoluted because it is thrown into a number of folds next lies the hairpin loop that you see it is known as the loop of henle and the distal convoluted tubule also known as dct the dct is so called because it lies away from the baumann's capsule and it opens into a wide tube called the collecting tubule in capsule the pct and dct lie in the cortex whereas loop of henle and distal convoluted tubule lie in the medulla Pigeon capsule is the main filtering unit of the nephron. It consists of a cup-shaped structure called the Baumann's capsule, which leads to the PCT. Tuft of blood vessels present inside the Baumann's capsule is called the glomerulus. It is formed by the efferent and efferent arteriole. You can see in the diagram that the efferent arteriole has a larger diameter than the efferent arteriole. This leads to what we call ultrafiltration. 
are a pair of long narrow tubules round about 10 to 12 inches in length. They extend from the kidneys to the posterior surface of the urinary bladder. The upper end of the ureters enters the kidneys to the hilum. In the kidneys, it forms a funnel-shaped structure which is known as the renal pelvis. The lower end of the ureters enters the bladder through oblique tunnels that function as valves. They prevent the black flow of urine into the ureters. The urinary bladder is a pear-shaped, highly distensible sac-like reservoir present in the pelvic region. It has two openings of ureters and one urethra. The opening of the bladder is guarded by splinter muscles. They remain closed except when urine is to be passed out. They can store up to one liter of urine. The urethra is a narrow tube leading from the flow of the bladder to the exterior. In females, it is 3 to 4 centimeters long, whereas in males, is 18 to 20 centimeters long. Children, with this we complete the structure of all the parts of the excretory system. Children, I hope you have understood the structure of each and every part of the excretory system. In our next class, we will discuss the function of the kidney, the disorder of the kidney and the physiology of excretion. Thank you children. Have a great day. Enjoy yourself but take care of yourselves also.